Mm. Hey guys, it's Liz from Eating Vegan Simplified. Today, I am going to be making a baked ziti. It's really quite delicious. Um, so we're going to start right now. I've already put some onions in this pan and I'm starting them going. And then I have two Beyond Meat burgers. Um, if you're somebody who does not eat this uh, Beyond Meat burger, just go ahead and put a veggie burger in or a black bean quinoa burger, which I also have a recipe for um, on here. So that would be something. Uh, I'm using this, which is the Beyond Meat burger made with um, pea protein. And if you're not familiar with it, anyway, uh, we eat this once in a while, not all the time. But um, it works in this particular recipe. So anyway, I'm taking, uh, I took two burgers and I'm just kind of, I kind of broke them up a little bit. Just kind of um, getting it just, you know, cooking a little bit, just browning everything. And then um, I am going to add some, this is um, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. go and some garlic this is three cloves of minced garlic so we're just trying to brown this uh, this will be like uh, just going in the, the noodles now I pre-cooked the, the noodles and I used gluten-free noodles because I'm trying to be gluten-free these days but you could use regular noodles if if you're not trying to be gluten free, but I made um, the penne noodles here, they're right here, so you can see they're already, I just drained them. So I cooked them before you got here so that we didn't have to both sit around and wait for um, noodles to cook. So, um, yeah, so you just want this to simmer for just a bit and just kind of brown the meat. Um, you know, I don't know how long that might take, maybe about four or five minutes. Um, you know, probably if I stop mixing it, it might cook a little bit better. Uh, so um, basically, it's going to be this, and then I'm going to be making a sauce. So maybe while this is happening, I'll go over and start the sauce. So we're going to go over here. So the sauce is one and a half cups of water, and I have one cup of cashew, and I have a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. I have a teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder, and salt. So that's this whole like um, sort of cheesy sauce that I'm going to make to go on. So let's get that going. This just takes a few seconds. If you can get the, oh, I'm doing it completely backwards. That's why it's not working. Okay, there we go. Okay. You know, a cheesy sauce, right? I'll do it for a couple more minutes, and um, but really, it, it's almost done. All right. Okay, let's go back over here. I'll take this with me. Okay, so back to this. Good. Yeah. Anytime you have onion and garlic, you're going to smell pretty good, huh? Okay. So now, um, what I'm going to add here is I'm going to add some sauce. So, here we go. And just go ahead and combine it in with your Beyond Meat and your veg here. And your garlic. And now, I'm going to grab this other sauce that I just made. Take this out. Okay. And I'm going to pour it. And incorporate all of it. Okay, get rid of this. Okay. 
And now I'm going to add my pasta. So this is like a box and a half of pasta. It makes kind of a lot. So expect to have leftovers. Last time I made this, we had it for a few days because, you know. Three months. Yeah, not three months, but we had it for a while. Um, so just go ahead and incorporate all of this. And I'm going to put in half, uh, I'm gonna put in one cup, which is half of my cheese. Um, in this also. And I'm going to save the rest to put on top. So I'm going to kind of just work this in. And um, basically you want it to be all covered with sauce. So if you see any parts that are not, then you cover it. Okay. And then you could continue combining it once you put it in your baking dish. It's a little bit hard in this pan, but I'm trying. Okay. So, like I say, I'll continue to combine it once it gets into my pan. So, what I did is I, I created this uh, baking pan. Oh, I'm going to pot holder, huh? I was not prepared. Give me a second. Let me grab a pot holder right here. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to shut this off. And I am going to grab this, but not with my hands because it's super hot. And then I could continue to... Um, to combine it once it's in here to be a little bit easier. But there it is. Sort of combining itself. Let me put this down. Okay. So like I say, just kind of mix it, mix it around, make sure it's all kind of you know saucy. It looks pretty saucy to me. Looks pretty good. Okay. And now I'm gonna put the rest of this cheese on top. This is just a vegan mozzarella cheese. Um, there's a little bit of other vegan cheese mixed in because it's just what I had on hand. Um, if you have all mozzarella, it's probably best, but I'm just putting in what I had. And the last ingredient is some parsley that I'm just gonna put on top. And then I'm gonna stick it in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes. So let's go ahead and do that. So, but you can see it really was not hard and it really makes a lot. Like if you're having a group over, this is really a, a good uh, a good thing. I'll put it in for 20 and check it. Uh, okay, anyway. So there it is. So I will be back in about 20 minutes. We'll take it out and I'll show you what it looks like. See you soon. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. Here we go. What do you think? Ooh. Looks nice, right? So there it is, baked ziti with Beyond Meat or whatever meat you want, you know, if you want a veggie burger or something like that. And uh, it's really yummy, so give it a try, especially next time you need to cook for a group because it makes a lot, as you could see. I will have the recipe right underneath. Um, you know, underneath there's a little arrow, so you could click there and then it will be all of the, um, all of the measurements and everything, because I didn't always give all the measurements. So make sure you look there. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button because I don't want you to miss a recipe. I have a new one every single week. So hit the sub subscribe button so you get to see what I'm making and try it yourself. So let me know how you like it. Bake ziti, enjoy, and happy cooking.